For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem that they want you to find the tension developing all these three cables for the system to stay at equilibrium. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the position of D. The position of D is at 1i minus 2j plus 2k. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the magnitude of D in order to find the univector of D. The magnitude of D is given by the square root of the x component plus the y component plus the c component, which is 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square. And it is equal to 3. So the univector D is given by the vector D divided by its own magnitude, and it comes out to be 0.333 in the i minus 0.667 in the j plus 0.667 in the k. So the tension vector AD, the Cartesian vector form of this vector will be given by the magnitude of AD multiplied by the univector in its direction which means that the Cartesian uh, form of this vector it's AD times 0.333 in the i minus AD times 0.667 in the J plus AD times 0.667 in the K and the other two are fairly easy to find. We're giving an angle and this one's going straight in the negative x direction. So now we can build our equations. Sum of the forces on dx is equal to zero. In dx, we got an x component for AB, which is this component right here. So AB times the sine of 30, the angle given. It's going on the positive x direction so minus AC because it's going straight in the negative x direction plus the x component of AD the x component of AD being AD times 0 0.333 0 0.333 AD and that is equal to 0 so that comes out to be 0.5 AB minus AC plus 0.333 AD is equal to zero. This is our first equation. Our second equation is sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero. So you know that the Y component of AB, which is this component right here, AB is positive because it's going in the positive um, Y direction times the cosine of 30 minus the y component of AD because C and the force going down sit on the X and C plane so they have no y component and this is negative 0.667 AD which is the y component of AD and that is equal to 0 so this comes out at 0.866 AB minus 0.667 AD is equal to zero. This is equation two. The last equation is sum of the forces on the C axis is equal to zero. So you know that the uh, C component of AD is 0.667 AD is going up, so it's positive, minus the 600 Newton force. 600 is equal to zero. So you solve for AD and you get positive 600 divided by 0 0.667 comes out to be exactly 900 Newtons. You plug this into equation 2 for AD and you solve for AB and you get that AB is equal to 693 Newtons. And you plug this 2 into equation 1 and you solve for AC and you get that AC 
is equal to 646.5 newtons. Final answer for AD, final answer for AB, and final answer for AC. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.